It's now been 78 years since the first Akamane Rose Bridge collapsed. But it was just a handful of months ago a one local resident discovered he is now living in the former home of one of the most notable figures from that day. During the process of remodeling, Honor Ben's routine discovered Leonard Costworth's car insurance car behind a piece of trim board in the kitchen. Leonard quite possibly was searching for this card after his car and dog Tabby plunged into the Narrows. We met up with Ben this past summer to talk about how he unknowingly purchased a house connected to such dramatic local history and included the whole story in our first hard copy magazine. Along with other decades, old scraps of paper found in the home where Leonard's old license plates nailed up on the beam in the basement. Presumably at least one from the sizable collection remains missing. In the Tacoma Public Library's Northwest Room files, we turned up a photo of Leonard on the steps of the home. His trousers torn at the knees and shoes scrapped from having crawled off the twisting bridge. It isn't uncommon to hear Leonard's character lambasted by those horrified to learn he left Tabby in the car in order to save his own life. But in reading his personal account of the events of November 7, 1940, it's readily apparent he felt the loss of his daughter's three-legged cocker spaniel deeply. Leonard, who was then a copy editor at the News Tribune, went straight to the office after narrowly escaping death to dutifully report his experience, with hands too scraped and bloody to type. He dictated his story. I saw the Narrows Bridge die today, and only by the grace of God escaped dying with it. In the car with me was my daughter's cocker spaniel Tabby. Not until I reached the first towers did I realize something was terribly wrong. I jumped on the brakes and got out of the car, only to be thrown onto my face against the curb. I tried to stand and was thrown again. Around me I could hear the concrete cracking. I started back to the car to get the dog, but was thrown before I could reach it. The car itself began to slide from side to side on the roadway. I decided the bridge was breaking up, and my only hope was to get back to shore. Those who stood on the shore and watched the bridge in its death agony still have no conception of the violence of the movement felt by one out beyond the towers. Safely back at the tall plaza, I saw the bridge in its final collapse and saw my car plunge into the narrows. With real tragedy, disaster and blasted dreams all around me, I believe that right at this minute. What appalls me most is that within a few hours I must tell my daughter that her dog is dead when I might have saved him. At least two other men tried to rescue Tabby from the car but did not succeed. One was even beat by the scared dog. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.